<laughs> okay, uh, thankfully I didn't crash into all that stuff, but hey, we're literally just gonna jump into this here because I have gotten this question asked many, 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 a lot of times. <laughs> over the years here on the channel and it's not a bad thing but i also don't really like gatekeeping information either so uh we're just going to be answering this question what the hell is this program that i show in like every video when i'm copying and pasting files why does it look so different than the windows copier well i'll answer that in the opposite order one because it's not the windows copier and two terra copy that that's the answer to it terra copy i wanted to take a few minutes to talk about this here and i guess uh lily are you ready to um share the I thought she was ready to share the goodness of TerraCopy with you all, but I guess not. Also, hey, what's going on, everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. But we're just going to be talking about this here because uh, I've talked about this program many times over almost 15 years in my personal life. I have also talked about this program in comments when people have asked about this. So I figured I'd make a dedicated video to this because, in my opinion, if you are a Windows user... Maybe technically Mac as well, too, because there is a Mac build of it. I haven't used it personally, but if you are a Windows user, in my opinion, this is the best little program you've probably never heard of. For those who do not know, TerraCopy is, at minimum, put simply, a third-party file copier. You can have it integrate into Windows itself as well, too, so whenever you're copying and pasting or cutting and pasting files, whatever you might be doing, as opposed to using the standard Windows copier, you'll end up using TerraCopy. Now, this doesn't outright replace it. You're still going to have the original Windows copier whenever you do need it, but TerraCopy will prioritize it. And if you don't want that, you can also change that as well too. You can have it be secondary, so whenever you're copying things, it can either give you the option to choose the Windows copier or TerraCopy, or it could just do the Windows copier by default, and then you can load up TerraCopy manually, or if you're like me, you're just going to run it by default. Now, before I start gushing about TerraCopy here, like I said, I've used this program for almost 15 years on almost every Windows install that I have, and there are good reasons for that. Uh, however, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video aside from you know having the video monetized and i'll probably put like my regular like affiliate links in the description i don't have any affiliate links or anything related to uh code sector the developers and people who release terra copy um none of that like these people don't know who i am i haven't worked with them in any capacity i just download install and love their program that is it so this is like the first time i've made any piece of content dedicated to this program here so i just want to be transparent about that before people think this is like a sponsored bit or I've been paid to no no absolutely not like hey code sector if you want to talk to me like let's do this because this would be incredibly easy for me to gush about but we're doing this video here so why is TerraCopy so good well you got to realize it's been around for a while and a lot of people have even noticed as well too that when they saw at least older builds of TerraCopy it looked like some ancient type program and you got to realize that if you are a windows user or if you have used windows at all at any point in time let's just be honest here the default copier is not great now it has gotten better with every single windows iteration uh, i would say the ones i remember the most like being a kid like i did use like windows i guess 3.1 95 98 but when i actually did my own computing and such like for my own enjoyment really it was windows xp and beyond and if you haven't used the windows xp file copier uh well it's not great especially with the estimates on there and now like i said every single time there is a new increment to windows there is a better a copier you get more functionality on there uh, I know at least now we have a pause option and it shows you some more verbose details on like the speed and such and the estimated time for how much it's going to copy or move something how long that will take has gotten much better I will say that uh, but TerraCopy is still better. Now, I personally started using this on Windows 7, and TerraCopy was incredibly enticing because not only it was faster than the built-in Windows copier, that is a fact. It was faster than that, so you did save time, you did get a nice speed increase on there. The estimated times available were also better, but on top of that, I think we've all run into this. If the Windows copier ends up crashing, I mean, that's kind of it. You kind of just have to pick up where you left off on there. TerraCopy used to be a little bit prone to crashing. I'm going to be honest about it. I've used it enough that it used to be prone to crashing. But the nice thing was, if you just reopen TerraCopy, it had your entire queue of files that were copied, what the statuses were, and where the progress was with everything. And you could just continue. That was it. 
it was lovely. It also has additional options as well too, where you could choose to have the program still up when it's done copying. You could have auto close, which is what most people want to do. But especially if you're doing a really big file copy, you're able to have it set. So once it's done, you could either have your computer hibernate, shut down, sleep, uh, I think those are all the options. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's also nice because it does give you checksums and verification. So for this example, I actually showed something in here where I was just copying one folder's complete contents over to a USB drive. And once it's completed, even if you want to, you can set this up to verify. So then it quickly goes in and verifies all the files there because it does generate checksums as all the files are being copied or I suppose moved in this case. And on top of that, one nice thing is once you have all your files copied over, you can even export a checksum in many different checksum options that are available and that is really nice too especially if let's say there is a large series of files you are wanting to share with someone and then you do that you can export your file hash itself and send it along with those files so that way Within TerraCopy itself, you can do your copy, you can run the checksum on your drive, on your files as well too, to make sure they've either downloaded, transferred, extracted properly. And if there's any issues, it tells you what they are right there. So you end up getting this copier, which is at minimum the same speed as the default Windows file copier, at best, it's actually faster. It does still allow you to pause, but also allows for checksum verification and it allows for a lot more options as well too that I really don't get into because those are the ones that I use. I use the copier function on here. If a drive disconnects, if my network ends up disconnecting, if the file copier crashes, if my computer crashes, the queue is still available there. It, it holds on to everything. It's, it's a beautiful piece of software. And I'm sure I'm going to put up some bits of the website as well too that show the features on there so you could see what's available on there. So even if you're a person where you are not a power user by any means and you're just wanting a file copier, it's still great. And I've seen this demonstrated time and time and time again. Now I'm gonna get into the little bit of personal side here. You know, also speaking of personal, I like to have like a game running in the background or something. I thought that Metro 2033 would have more of a uh, attract mode, but I guess it doesn't. So there, you know, you can see more of it, but Metro 2033, that's what's back there. Now in terms of TerraCopy, how I got introduced to it, because like I said, this is in my opinion, the best program you've never heard of. And at the time, I didn't hear about it. I didn't even think of using a replacement file copier. This is actually back when I was in college, I was doing IT for several different buildings. And one of the people that I was working with ended up introducing me to this because it was a downloadable program that you could package into a Ninite installation. Uh, check out Ninite if you haven't. I know there's other services that are similar to it that could be better depending on you know what you use there. Uh, but it's really easy to just go in. They have like a pre-selected list of programs. You can choose what you want to install or update what you don't want to and then you can download a small executable that then just double click it and just deploys all those programs it downloads the latest ones installs them on your computer unattended uh it, it's really nice i've done a video on it a long time ago but it was kind of a christmas video uh it kind of a gift to you all so uh if people are interested in that i guess let me know but like i said there's other options out there too nine nights not the only one like this anymore either way terra copy was on there so i remember that my co-worker ended up showing me this he showed me nine night he showed me you know selecting terra copy and the first thing i thought was terra copy what is this and then i started seeing the copier and and I myself, I like seeing all the details and you do see more details on TerraCopy when you're doing file copies. So therefore, uh, I, I did end up liking the program and just using it so consistently on pretty much all of my machines. I did notice at least with Windows 7 back in the day, the increased speed and like I said, all the other benefits of the file hashing, uh, even like the crashing as well to being able to pause because you couldn't always do that with your transfers. So if your computer shut down, if your network got disabled, if your drive got disconnected, even if just Terra copy just you know closed out of itself you could still continue on with your copy again pretty important detail right there uh, then after that, I started when I would help out friends and family with their computers, get them set up, do some maintenance, have to do virus removal, whatever it was there. Uh, I would typically also kind of just as a last bit go in there and install some other applications that I would recommend to them. And TerraCopy, I would always just throw on there by default. So historically, I will say this, I haven't had any complaints about TerraCopy. And again, I've been using this and installing it, you know, on friends' computers and such whenever we have that for about almost 15 years we're getting to almost 15 years at this point and i've typically only had two questions that come up with TerraCopy. i think it's just these two because i'm actually struggling to think of additional questions but the first one is 
hey, what is that one program on there that like changes the Windows file copier? Like, it, I like it, but I don't know what it is. Like, now I use a different file copier. Which one is that? And the answer is TerraCopy. The second one is typically if that same friend is helping out with another computer or maybe they are building their own computer or maybe they formatted their computer and they're trying to get their applications back, they might ask me, hey, what is that one like file copy program? It's not the Windows one, but what is that one that you installed for me? And again, the answer is TerraCopy. Those have been like the closest to complaints I've ever gotten on there. In terms of on YouTube here, maybe the only complaint I got outside of that was, hey, what is that like ancient looking copy or software that you're using? And yeah, like older builds of it look old because uh, they were running on like Windows XP, Windows 7 machines and such there. I actually like the, U the, the old UI more than the new UI, but the new one I'm used to. I'm just running like the latest stable release on there. I'm, I checked, I'm running 3.17. It's fine. Um, like I said, I prefer the old UI, but the new one, the actual program itself is better. So I like it quite a bit. Uh, in terms of actually getting TerraCopy, trying it out, uh, if you're at all interested in this, like I said, at minimum, give it a shot. Uh, it is available in like, you know, Nine Night if you want to get it there. Otherwise, you can just go to the website. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, you can download it, install it for free. It works just fine. On like standard Windows installations, it's okay. I'm talking like Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, 11. Those ones are fine. If you're going to be running it like on a server OS, so like Windows Server, it does essentially have like a little bit of a nag screen similar to WinRAR where it's telling you like hey this is just like a trial here um so if you want to get like you know proper functionality you have to get the license if you're using it on a server uh which makes sense but if you want to try it on there um you certainly can there's also a pro version um I personally like on my machine here I don't have the pro version of it uh but the pro version has a few other options and especially if you want to use it like commercially like within a business or something like that then uh, yeah it works out for that as well too so uh, this is actually probably a little longer than I expected here. And I just wanted to make this video talking about this mysterious program that so many people have wondered what is up on my computer. Like for years on here, I've had so many people ask, why is your Windows copier different? What the heck is that Windows copier? Why? That's not the Windows copier. Why, why are you using that? It's TerraCopy. I've given the reasons for it. Um, if you're interested in this, absolutely give it a shot. In my opinion, it's well worth it. I can't really go back to the old Windows copier anymore. And it's like one of the first applications that I install whenever I do a new installation. Anyways, that's about it for this video here. This is Mr. Morrow signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. Um, but the dislikers are probably just going to stick to that Windows copier. I I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for this video. I'll see y'all.